Hello everybody and welcome in week three of the weekly Iceland updates. Now, I wish you all very much welcome to my video once again. If you're new, uh, I will have some annotations up here in this corner uh, showing you the way to my previous vlogs. A little something about this is I'm keeping a weekly video diary on my stay in Reykjavik, Iceland uh, for my studies. In my vlogs, I will discuss uh, how studying here in Iceland is and what exactly what I exactly do here, and mainly just giving an update on my life here in Iceland. So, a couple of things I wanted to talk about for this little video I got for you guys is uh, that previous week, or since it's Sunday today for me. Uh, previous week was my first week of classes at the University of Iceland. Now these classes were amazing. I barely can contain my excitement for the upcoming classes and lessons. Even though I have to do a lot of reading and research, so I was told I need to write a lot of essays and that is a little bit worrisome, but I think I'll manage. For the Classes that I follow, which is uh, teaching English to teenagers, that's how I will call it for now, um, vampires from Dracula to Buffy and Bill, and my other class, which is called Icelandic Cultural and Nature Legacy. Those are the three classes I follow, and for those three classes, I already had to do some uh, reading, and I got to say that I really enjoy doing this. So today is Sunday and I just managed to finish up my homework uh, for tomorrow. I also had to think of some cultural differences that stood out to me while I'm staying here in Iceland. Now in my previous video I already mentioned once that uh, certain things were different, like how the water had a different smell and uh, how everything is actually quite expensive. Um, but some cultural things that I noticed is that Iceland is actually quite, how do you say it, American compared to Holland. Uh, things are sold in larger quantities, but, and while you're out for dinner, you, uh, get free refills of soda and all those kind of things. While in Holland, we ask money for almost everything, but you get smaller quantities. Um, now, I'm not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing, because here in Iceland everything is actually quite expensive, so even for a drink or a beer uh, or uh, food, cookies, like you go out for a snack and it's more pricey than it would be in Europe. So that's something I noticed. I'm not sure if that's a, like a cultural difference or not. A couple other, other things uh, that I've noticed uh, previous week. I went swimming, and a very normal thing, and maybe that's just in Scandinavia, is that here you shower naked before you go swimming. Now in Holland we don't do that. We, we take a shower before we go swimming, but most of the time you just wear your bathing suit. And here you had to get fully undressed and wash certain areas, like your armpits, your face, your privates, and your feet. Those were the most important areas that you had to clean. And that's actually quite weird. Like, it was pretty embarrassing to just go into a shower and wash yourself. Because these were very public showers. You didn't have just a little booth for yourself. No, it was just a public shower. And all the, in this case, all the women were just showering. Of course, women and men are separated from each other. So that's uh, nice. But you were obliged to take a shower naked. So that's very odd and different and strange for me. But I'm also very sure like, if, if in other countries, and I'm not mentioning Scandinavian countries, but in other European countries or in America, I don't know, uh, if it's the same. I don't think so, but please tell me if I'm wrong on that one. Um, further, I was mentioning I went swimming and the swimming was amazing. The great thing here is you can just swim in an outside pool the whole year through because everything is 
warmed by the, the, the natural warmth here from the ground. So all the pools are just heated to a comfortable temperature and you can just go outside and swim. Well, in Holland, our pool has just a certain season, and that's in the summer. Uh, while in the winter, it probably just freezes over because it barely gets heated. So that's that was pretty nice, and I think I will probably go back to that swimming pool more often because it was a lot of fun to do, and I really just enjoy swimming, even though like the showering part is a little bit awkward. Now, further today, I had uh, a birthday of. Uh, little niece from the family I'm staying at and uh, it was a lot of fun I was there with uh, I met a, met most of their family and uh, I have to say it was very nice meeting all those people uh, it was a little bit difficult since most of them uh, just were speaking Icelandic with each other but uh, luckily this family is also part Scottish so their English is on a very good level, so I did have a chance to just communicate with the family and have a very nice time. That was a little bit about my week. That was a little bit about uh, how cultural differences are here. Uh, further with myself, I'm doing just fine. I'm still getting used to the how do you say that the the, the time differences, like how it's still dark in the morning and it gets there's not much sunlight a day. That's still something I'm really getting used to, but uh, I guess you can't expect too much after about two to three weeks. So, um, for now I'll just give you the footage of this week. I have a little bit more video footage than I have all pictures than normally, but I hope you guys will enjoy it nonetheless. And hopefully I will see you all in the next video. And let me know what you think of this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Uh, you can always visit my Twitter and ask some questions over there. I check my email regularly. I check my Twitter regularly. So uh, just let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, I would love to know. So I wish you all a wonderful week. And I will see you all in the next one. Later! Hello everybody and welcome to day one of week three. Now, today is Monday and today I had my very first day here at the University of Iceland. Uh, I gotta say, it was a pretty long day for me, like I'm not used to anything anymore because I had a vacation, but phew, that was a lot. Especially because I got out a little earlier than uh, I should, because I had to take a bus, and I had no clue which bus I had to take and at what time they would leave, but uh, I managed to take a bus, though walking to the bus station took a little bit longer than expected so instead of about 10 minutes that I thought it took me about 20 minutes and I had to ask some people the way because I didn't know where to go but today I managed to go there I know which buses I need to take to get where I need to go for the school of education and uh, right now I'm just like walking a little bit in the snow and I'm enjoying it myself as you can see I'm not wearing my hat on the moment I did bring one but today's weather is actually really nice, there isn't much wind, uh, just fresh snow, though I do see some clouds here and there, but overall the weather is actually pretty good. So I'm just gonna sit down a little bit on this bench over here, because I'm walking through a tiny little park on my way home, and uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys for a little bit about my day. So today I had a couple classes. So I had a couple classes, and oh, that's cold. Oh, it's really cold. Um, I had a couple classes, which are really interesting. Uh, I had to change one of my courses uh, because I discovered it was for the wrong age group that I would be learning, and it wouldn't be really nice. Uh, so today I had my first class for the. Um, for the teenagers, for the kids in high school, 
So it was really interesting actually. And the man was, oh, the teacher was awesome. I had to admit he was really great at what he did and he managed to really captivate me in the story. So I think I will really enjoy that course. Further, I had my uh, class about uh, Icelandic nature and culture. Today though, on Mondays, is mainly focused on the nature part. And that was a little bit tough to sit through. It has been a long while since I had ex anything biology related. Um, so I had to really get used to uh, what she was telling me. And I just generally struggled a little bit and paying attention. Uh, for the today, uh, I had a pretty good day. I just met some really nice people. Uh, also, just in the at the bus station, I met a really nice guy from uh, Oslo called David. Uh, and at the university itself, I met actually some really nice people uh, from Germany, from Finland, uh, some people from Spain, or at least the region around Spain. So that was really cool. So this whole exchange thing uh, is really working out and it's really interesting because you meet so many new people. Though in general I've noticed that I've been really hanging out with uh, the people from Holland. Uh, but in general just the whole group that I'm now just hanging around a little bit with are just people from all kinds of countries. Uh, the classes are actually very diverse. We have a lot of different students in there. Not just Icelandic, but also a lot of people from Scandinavian countries like uh, Finland and Norway. Also quite some people from Denmark, I noticed. And uh, even some people from Turkey, uh, from Holland as well, like the, the two mentioned people I mentioned. It's just, yeah, it's, it's really great. So, uh, I guess I'll just call an update for now, for today. I made a couple of pictures and hopefully I can show you a little bit how everything is looking. Just look at that view it's so nice the sun is already setting it's even though it's still a little bit early let me see what time it is it's around four right now and the sun is setting and uh, i'm gonna make my way home before i freeze to death and uh, i'm just gonna enjoy the snow a little bit more and i'll give you an update for tomorrow so i'll see you all later bye So, that was day two of university. It's now about one o'clock and we were uh, left out early because, well, the first lesson uh, there isn't often much to discuss. So, uh, today I had vampires from Dracula to Buffy and Bill. And oh my god, I'm looking forward to this course. Sure, we need to do a lot. We need to write quite some essays and also uh, need to do some researches, some group assignments. But I already met some very nice people in this class and uh, they seem to be kind of in the same things as I am. Like they, they like comic books and games and just overly a little bit geeky, but I guess that's to be expected with this course. So. As you notice, I am walking home again, and I'm taking a bit of a different route. So I really hope I am uh, home uh, in time, and hopefully I will find my way. Because normally I get lost pretty quickly. But I do remember this lane, uh, since I walked here about three years ago with Johanna as well. And I think also a couple days ago, but I'm not 100% sure about that. <laughs> so, uh, that was my course for today. It was amazing. The teacher is great, even though she's like a, a native Icelandic person, her English is just fine, even though she has a bit of an accent. Uh, she's perfectly understandable and she is just great. I'm already loving this class. 
I'm already looking forward to the other things for this year. And uh, tomorrow I have my last two for this week. And then I have already weekend. So I guess that's pretty nice, right? I'll see y'all. Good morning, everybody. And here we are again. Day three of week three. We're on a Wednesday right now. And I just had my first class this morning. And it's still dark outside. Just look at this. Look at this. There's the moon. Little moon over there. But it's still dark out. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning right now. And I have the feeling I can just go back to bed. I don't know, man. I have another class today uh, at around, uh, what was it again? Three. Uh, I need to go to a different building for that, so I need to go take a bus. But it's now 10, and my class is at 3, so I have about 5 hours to kill uh, till I need to go to class again. So I will have to wait for a while, so I'll just go home, have some lunch with the family there, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So. I'll enjoy my dark morning, and I hope you all enjoy your dark day, or your light day, I guess. Uh, so, I'll see you all around. Bye bye! Hey guys, I am in the bus right now, on my way home from my last class today. As you can see, the sun is already setting, it's getting already dark. So, we started in dark, and we finish in dark. <laughs> So, what just happened, uh, I was running for my bus, I was talking to some friends of mine and suddenly uh, the bus driver sees me running and he actually just stopped for me while I already drove away from the bus station. So, bus driver of the week? I do think so. So, credits to him and because of him I can now be home about half an hour earlier really nice and uh, in a moment I will make dinner together with my friend and we're gonna munch on that and tomorrow I actually have some plans we might actually go to the swimming pool so that's going to be a lot of fun too so I'll keep you guys updated and uh, yeah I'll see you all around so, see you. Well, out of the door and off to the store. Uh, today I had a bit of a quieter day than I expected. Uh, I wanted to go to the pool today, but it didn't work out. So we're going tomorrow. And right now I'm just walking to the 24 hour store while making dinner right now. I'm gonna get myself some feta cheese and a cup of And uh, have some awesome food. So. Uh, that was for the tiny little update for day four, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys all in the next part. So, later!